We are all trying to be fitter. You will not believe. He was tipping the scales at more than 600 pounds. But it also seems that everyone is struggling with fitness. I'm gonna do arm rotations. Okay, 15 so, so in today's video, I'm going to give you some neuroscience hacks that can help you get fitter. I'm Dr. Sid Warrior. I'm a neurologist and welcome to Big Baskets YouTube channel. I'm here as a guest today to talk about fitness. Watch till the end of this video to have a chance to win a Big Basket voucher. So let's start off by understanding the problem. Why do we keep failing in our fitness journey? Because we know what to do. We should eat better and we should move more. But why are we getting stuck? The reason is that fitness has become all about extremes. Extreme diets, extreme challenges, do this in one week, lose all your fat in seven days. These are unrealistic standards that we set for ourselves and social media has a lot to do with this mindset. All these videos that we see on social media can lead to guilt, shame and that can have a negative impact on our fitness journey. The truth is that fitness and health are not built in a day and it is also not built entirely in the gym. What you do at home makes a bigger difference to your health than what happens when you work out. In other words, your daily habits and your lifestyle are what affects your fitness more than anything. So with that context, let me tell you about mindful fitness. So mindful fitness is not just about burning calories because remember you are not a machine. You are a human being, you have emotions, you have feelings, you have moods and so mindful fitness is more about aligning your daily habits with how you feel. It's not so much about weight loss, it is more about weight wisdom. Understanding your own body, understanding why do you gain weight, why do you lose weight and what is it that you do that leads to your health. So this video is a 30 day program to rewire your brain from the inside out. So now let's jump to the framework. Let's start with week one, which is awareness. I want you to start your journey by simply being aware of what you do. Track what you eat, how much you move and how are you feeling when you do it. Notice if you are eating only when you're hungry or are you also eating when you're stressed or if you can't sleep. Week one is just about observing the pattern and knowing yourself better. Because remember, you can't fix what you can't see. An important life lesson that I learned when I went through this program was observing the kind of food that you order when you are either eating out or if you are ordering in. Go through your food apps and look at all the orders you have placed. And now, once you've reached the end of week one, slow down. Remember that changing your direction is much harder if you are driving very fast. So if you want to change the track of your life, first slow down and change becomes easier. At this point, you can start using the Big Basket app to start ordering some basic ingredients that you want to integrate into your everyday diet. This is a way of showing intentionality that this is how you want your diet to be in the future. Now let's talk about week two, which is mindful eating. Let's start by having our meals without screens. Let's just pay attention to what we eat. I know that all of us have grown up listening to our parents and grandparents telling us to have food without looking at the TV. And there's a good reason why they said this. Simply by being more aware of our food, by chewing our food properly and by listening to our body, we are more aware of are we full, are we listening to our body's cues or are we eating simply because our attention is on something else. Remember to use the half plate rule which is at least half your plate should be green. That is, it should have plants, fibers and vegetables. Before you start chasing protein powders, remember to fix your grocery list because the groceries and ingredients that enter your house determines what kind of diet you will ultimately have. And if possible, start cooking at least one meal of the day at home. It changes your relationship with the food that you eat. Now you have reached week three and that is mindful movement. Become aware of how much you move from the time you wake up till the time you go to sleep. Remember that you don't need to go to the gym in order to move or work out because there is enough movement possible simply at home. A couple of movement hacks that I have integrated into my life are I've started taking some calls while walking around my building. I've also started doing impromptu exercises throughout the day. So instead of concentrating all my workouts within one hour, why not keep your body moving through the day? Because movement is not separate from the rest of your life. It is a part of your life. And 
now finally once you've reached week number four it is time for reflection and reinforcement you have just finished 21 days of behavior change it is time to observe how many of these habits have stuck how many of these habits has been easy for you and what has been hard and using habit anchors that is pairing new habits with previous existing ones so one useful habit that i've integrated is to set up a recurring grocery subscription and i revise it every sunday so i don't need to keep going back and doing the same grocery shopping every week so this is a pretty useful way of letting my environment and technology work for me it's important to understand that your brain is neuroplastic that is the more you train it the easier it becomes your brain can learn new habits because dopamine is not just a happiness chemical it's not just for your rewards it is a motivation molecule so the more you attach dopamine to an action the more your brain thinks oh let me keep doing this again and again so every time you make a mindful decision you are reinforcing that loop and that is how habits are formed remember this 30 day program is not just about weight loss it is about training yourself and rewiring yourself to become a new you i hope all of you try this four week challenge and now it's time for the giveaway question which is what is the chemical in the brain that leads to motivation if you know the answer put it in the comments below and you have a chance to win a big basket voucher I will see you all in the next video and if you've liked this video, subscribe to the channel. Bye everyone, take care.